Hello, and welcome to my installment of how to put on a binder. Because apparently this is a question that gets asked a lot, and there's not many videos on it. At least not from what I've seen when I was asking this question. So I'm going to make a video about how I put on my binder. Also, just to be warned, there are man boobs in this video, but I censored my nipples because apparently I'm still a woman on my birth certificate, so I'm still not allowed to show my nipples, which is fucking stupid. Free the nipple. Anyways, let's get started. First off, you can see that I have a really, really fucked up back. Oh god, I don't know how to fix it. Is that straight? Nope, there is no straight when it comes to scoliosis. But anyway, this is a binder. Right here. This is the binder from GC2B. Now, whether you're cosplaying or you're binding daily, I really recommend that you get a professional binder like JC2B binder or Underworks. More JC2B because Underworks isn't that great. But just because if you get one from eBay or whatever, it's usually bad quality and can cause breaking ribs, deformed rib cage, punctured lungs, you know, all that fun stuff that you really do not want to have to deal with. Anyways, there's several different ways to put on a binder, but not all work for everybody. The first way that a lot of people show is to put it on by kind of like stepping through pulling it over your hips, and then pulling it over your breasts, and then putting your arms in. Uh, now the problem with me in this method is the fact that you see the problem already catching. I have like the biggest hips and the biggest tush in pretty much Tranboy history. Maybe not. Maybe not. But they're pretty big, so <laughs> I cannot get this over my hips. So what I do is a different thing. Cat, stop. So first off, I put it down over my leg or whatever. Just makes it a little bit easier. And the first thing I do is I roll it up over my arms. Try to keep the back as straight as possible. It'll make it a lot easier for you. Then you just lift it over your head and kind of wiggle your shoulders down. Okay? This looks oddly sexual. And then you reach behind you, grab the back. It's gonna be very hard if you're not flexible. You can start with the sides. It might make it a little bit easier if you can't reach the back. But if you can reach the back, that's the easiest. And then you pull it over the sides and over top of the man boobage. And once you have it here, simply what I do to adjust is I just place my nipples where a man's nipples would be. Because that way you don't see the side. And that way if your nipples get hard, uh, people won't be questioning why one nipple is like here and there. It just gets awkward, you know? So that's usually the best way. There are some people who like to wear undershirts underneath their binders, and then they just pull their breasts over to the side. That method works a lot better if you do have like bigger man boobs, like, I don't know, D's. Like, it, it works a lot easier <laughs> to make you flat. But when you have like only B's or C's, this should be good enough of a method. And there you go. And all you do is you put on Desire more your beer belly because it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is. And then just put on your shirt. I don't want to. There's so many buttons.
And then you dance. Oh, yeah.